I'm a Roblox developer, but today I'm going to be trying out Scratch. And Scratch is a game engine known for these like little code block things instead of actually writing out the code yourself. Okay, so we start off with this like default cat, which I don't want. So let's see what else we have. Wait, what is this? We have some weird looking cheese puffs. A squirrel head, what is this? Let's add in Wanda. Uh, let's make it so she says something. <laughs> I don't know. And then after one second, I, I don't know, she'll disappear. Okay, let's see what happens. <laughs> and then she's gone. Okay, forget that. Let's try making a proper game. Okay, so my game idea is that you play as a spaceship. I think you need to dodge the planets that are flying towards you. And I know it's very simple. Okay, so first, let's draw the spaceship. Boom! The spaceship is done. Uh, all thanks to this reference image though. Well, time to start working on the planets. Boom! The planet is done. We also have a grey one and a blue one. Okay, so I've added them to the game, and I guess we can start scripting. Uh. Okay, I figured it out. All by myself. <laughs> so, if we go ahead and try it, then we can move the spaceship every time we click. Boing, boing, boing. Okay, so I'm trying to make it spawn in a random planet. Turns out I don't know what I'm doing. Like, wh what is this? Never mind, I'm dumb. I had to change some of the code. I've been also missed out on a whole bit of code. So, <laughs> no wonder it wasn't working. Well, at least it works now though. Now I need to make it so we can die. First of all, I stuck an explosion to the spaceship. Then I made this game over text that will appear. And I saw in a video that you can use this like broadcast thing as a way to trigger stuff, which will then blow up the spaceship and stop the game. But before we try it out, we need to add in some sound effects. And that's pretty much it. If you want to see me make a game using Unity, then check out the video on screen now.